dance-like piece in three. Um, we're going to give you a few comments on how to work on this piece, especially the tricky arpeggio passages, and then I'll play it for you again. So here's our piece, the number 10, the allegretto. Um, this is in 3-4. This is not a waltz feel in triple time. This is a, a duple feel, but in 3. It's, but it is very light and dance-like. And so we want to have that in our ear, this very light staccato style. Siempre staccato. It's staccato through the entire thing, basically, except for the couple places. You know, you have you have a tie, but even there, you know, these are really going to be lifted. You have the tie all the way to beat three, but this is the place you can almost slash this note. That's a good place to breathe here too. You know, you can take that slash that first uh, the downbeat of three, and that's a good place to take your breath. Bum bim ba ba da 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 dum bum 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 bum. Now a lot of this, uh, there's a few places, a few you know, chromatic accidentals that you have to watch. The place that most people get tripped up is is this measure and this measure. And both of these, you can play this, the C open on the on the B flat side with that is with the trigger. Both the A and the D, I would play trigger one and two, so on the B flat side. So then the whole thing is open with the trigger and one and two with the trigger. Bum ba da bum ba da bum bum ba da bum bum and you can actually do the same thing here. Use the open B flat side for C, trigger one and two Trigger open, trigger one and two, trigger one and two, trigger one and two. If you want for the F sharp, it works there too. Or you can go to the F side, second valve, if you prefer that fingering, uh, and then and then leading to the G. Now we come along and we look at this. I hear the, all sorts of variations of how this could be played. This is the same as the measure you have up here. It should be played exactly the same. This is a kind of uh, notation that we don't see that often for horn, especially if you're in your, your standard concert band literature that you're playing most often in public school programs. You know, you're not going to see this type of notation a lot. It means the same thing as up here. So just realize that it's exactly the same figure. Now the last line, this is the other place people often get tripped up on this, this etude. When we get here, the way I would practice this, start from this point right here and go through to the third beat of that second bar on the line and play that all open on the F side, so without the trigger, all open. And when you can do that and produce it fairly fluidly, then go back and if you want to add the trigger to, for instance, for the E, the, add the thumb for the C there just for security, that's fine. But it works very well to just play this open on the F horn. Play it on the mouthpiece. You have to be able to hear it and then you have to be able to play it fluidly. It's just a C arpeggio. If you can hear it as an arpeggio, it is a chord that you're playing one note at a time. Um, and focus on hearing the downbeats. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dee -da 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 -dee -da -da -da. This is basically just an ornamentation of G, E, C. Uh, and you're just kind of ornamenting in between those notes. So do it very slowly, do it open on the F horn, and then you put it back together, and it works quite well. And then this last bit, then you just have a nice little scale that goes back to your home tone, and you finish. It's a pretty straightforward piece. It needs some detail work. Again, it needs some detail work on the end, probably this bar right here, these couple of places, and, and a little bit at the beginning, just you have to watch the chromatic, uh, little chromatic uh, uh, accidentals there, and a few other things. But it mainly should be very precise, very light, and dance-like. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.